15 seconds to draw. You've been grinding hard on the job. Can't take that from us. Hey, Kari, how are you? Hello, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, I'm very curious to know about the process through which you got this job. Um, <laughs> did you pitch them? Uh, had you met with Marvel over the years for different projects? I had met with Marvel um, over the years <laughs> with different projects and um, uh, they're a wonderful company to work with and they really sort of keep as uh, they, they keep in touch with you. And so when this came up, um, I was actually in New York working on The Loudest Voice and they said, could you come in and, and uh, you know, give us your ideas and your take on this particular project? And uh, so I did. So um, they seemed to like what I had to say. And obviously uh, it was very challenging because it's an amazing story. It picks up where, um, you know, Endgame leaves off. And so uh, it was really taking that and, and all the goals of, of what the story wanted to be um, and sort of integrating it into a, a take. And so um, uh, I guess they, they embraced my thoughts. What do you tell them? Well, that was really the most important story that I could think of in uh, modern times. Um, it's uh, an incredibly um, timely um, discussion about, you know, Sam and if he's going to take up the shield and why that is, if not, and why that is, if he does, and what it means for him, um, what it means for the world. So I think it was, you know, a very... Um, heartfelt, politically charged um, time. And, and as we're coming out of it to be talking about this within the Marvel universe, I think is um, exactly why Marvel is who they are because they never shy away from, you know, these, these politically charged conversations. They're always beautifully integrated into a fun story uh, with lots of humor and, and um, you know, lots of uh, personality and character but at its core, it's got a lot, a, a lot to say. That's what I responded to. You know, I'm from India and we have a, a fun relationship with nationalism. Um, and Captain America is a nationalistic symbol. Um, so I want to ask you, um, with that big reveal at the end, what do you want to convey about symbols of nationalism? Uh, I think the most important thing was that it's a discussion. You know, that um, that in the case of uh, the big reveal at the end of episode one, which I guess you've seen. Yeah. So, uh, episode. yeah, thank you. Um, is that was to provoke all kinds of discussion besides being, you know, hopefully surprising the heck out of you uh, to provoke the discussion of exactly what that is. What is nationalism? How does it count? Um, where does it count? What are the what are the optics behind it? What are the. What are the racial politics behind it? And, um, and so, yes, I'm very glad that uh, that's come through as strongly as it has. Another thing that came through, and I have to ask you, you know, the, 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 the action is spectacular. It opens with this amazing action scene, and I think fans will be really happy with that. Uh, but the two scenes that really spoke to me and I really connected with them were the ones with uh, Bucky. There's one with the therapist, and there's another where he goes and meets the girl. Um, so I want to ask you, with Bucky specifically, um, what was it about him as a person that you wanted to bring out that we hadn't seen before? Well, one of the things that's lovely about Disney Plus um, and this new uh, this new way in, this new lane way that we can go down, is that you can spend more time with the characters. Yeah. So we are able to get to know them a little bit better. And so for the first time, um, we are uh, allowed to sit with them as well as get the action, just because we have more time on our on our plate. So, what was really fantastic about digging into um, into his character was everything that he drags with him from his past has now been excised. So we're meeting him for the first time, un, kind of unencumbered, and yet carrying a very big suitcase of what that means. Uh, and I think it speaks a lot to, I, I hope it speaks a lot to um, people who have uh, experienced any kind of trauma um, and particularly soldiers, because 
all of our characters are are coming out of some kind of um, soldier background in one form or another, Steve included. So um, it's trying to speak to that and how do you heal and what is next for you? So here's this character who is um, going through, just as, as Sam is going through what is next for him, so is Bucky, what is next? He's had this whole he's had this whole mantle on him that has been cumbersome. And now that he's free of it, what does that mean? Uh, I've been a huge fan of your work. Uh, thank you for taking the time and speaking with me. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the show. All the best. Oh, thank you so much. I hope India enjoys it. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure they will. Oh, good. Okay, bye, bye, bye.